Welcome back. We've got another Cricut Design Space tutorial for you. We've got a nice sweet and short one today and we're going to dive straight into it. Let's go. Well, hey there. We are going to have a look at group and ungroup today. So we're in Cricut Design Space on page 34 if you have our book and we're have, we've got some beautiful funky stars here as an example that we're going to have a look at. Now, just like in life, you like to group things together that are similar. We like doing the same thing in Cricut Design Space because it helps to keep things organized. So if I've got three stars here, it would be a good idea for me to group them all together if I'm going to add more elements to the picture. So grouping and ungrouping is actually really super duper easy. And what we want to do is to select the elements that we would like to group together. So to do that, I like to click in the one corner and to drag a mouse, the drop mouse, so that there's a box around all of my elements that I want to group. And now what I can do is simply go up here to the layers panel and click on the group to group all of these elements together. Now, if I drop that down, I've got one single group that's got my stars in it. And if I was to add a word to this, you're a star. I'm just very quickly making up something here, right? If I was to add a word to this, I could have this as a separate group. So now I've got a text group and I've got a star group. And if I click on the group, I can move all of the elements together individually. So if I had all of my elements perfectly arranged and I don't want to just move one, one of them at a time, this is an easy way for me to do exactly that. Now, of course, we don't have to select all of them to group them. So let me grab these and I'm going to click on the ungroup to make them separate elements again. So now we've got three separate elements. If I wanted to group some of this, so if I only wanted to group this one and the green star, I can do that by holding down the shift key. So click on the first star, hold down the shift key, click on the green star to extend your box. And now I can group those two elements and I can move those around by themselves if that's what I wanted to do. So it just helps to make life a lot easier, especially if you've spent a lot of time making something super perfect. So if I just spent a lot of time maybe trying to make my elements somehow, I don't know, making up stuff here, but if I was going to play around with these stars quite a bit to try and find a very exact picture of what I wanted, right? And there's absolutely no madness to my reasoning right now. I'm just making something up. So if for some other reason I wanted to have it like this and I've just spent quite a bit of time trying to rotate things perfectly and trying to make them spaced out really nicely and evenly, right? I, if I left these elements like this and I were to click on something accidentally and move it, then I've just destroyed what I worked so hard at trying to perfect. So in order for me to keep my placement of my elements after I've worked so hard on them so that I don't accidentally click on something and move it around when I'm busy designing other bits and pieces, then it's a good idea to group all of those together. Because now if I accidentally click on this, I'm moving all of the elements together and it doesn't matter. So grouping is quite helpful. And then of course, sometimes you'll find designs, especially if you buy some SVGs online, that sometimes they've got so many different groups going on, it's just ridiculous. But it still helps to keep things easier to work with because if they were all separate layers, you would have had a lot of different things that you're looking at straight on. Where right now things are nice and tidy and easy for me to work with. So why would you wanna use group? You would want to use group when you're working with different elements because it helps to keep things organized. I have my stars in one group. I have my word in one group and therefore it's easy for me to work with things. It's also easy for me to move one single group around. So if I wanted to position this somewhere else, I could very easily do that because that's one group. So if this was one group, I can resize all of those elements as one piece rather than as individual pieces, right? Secondly, 
I like using group because sometimes I click around and I accidentally click on one element and it just moves slightly and then I need to fix it. So if you group things together after you've spent a lot of time putting them in exact spots, then it's important to group them so that you don't accidentally move your elements apart. You have the ability to group as well as ungroup. So if you ever need to change your mind, you don't like the placement of your stars, you're not stuck with it. You can simply click on your stars and use this ungroup up at the top to separate them out into separate pieces. And now I have the ability to move my stars around separately by themselves again. So that's the basics of group and ungroup. I told you that it would be easy, just like we like grouping things in real life. We like putting similar things in piles. That's exactly what we're doing when we're working in Cricut Design Space with a group and ungroup. So that was page 31 in your Cricut Design Space book. All right, see you later.